My guest today is Oscar Sanchez, a sociology student at Missouri Valley College from El Salvador. Oscar, why sociology? What was the thing or person who inspires you to study sociology? Well, sociology is related to analyze, right, to look uh, social problems like uh, injustice, uh, violence, or any other things that hurts our society. So my father has always worked in that area. He has always looked for better things for our country, for our city, for our population. So I have always considered my father as a hero, my hero. And um, I would like to follow his steps. I would like to make a difference in my in my country, in my city. And I think I have a lot of ideas of how to improve those things, those issues. Nowadays, El Salvador is one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Tell me, why? Why is that? Well, social injustice is very highlighted in El Salvador. You know, gangs control the country. And unfortunately, they have frightened everyone including the government by themselves. So it's really difficult, you know, to affront this situation when the government is scared of it. I think that, that the only way we can uh, improve the situation is by giving ideas, you know, like affronting the situation, not hiding. And I think uh, the government The actual government is not thinking in solutions. They are just going day by day. What do we do now? And I think it's not the way it should be. This is Oscar Sanchez from El Salvador, a sociology student from Missouri Valley College. Oscar, you as a student of sociology and knowing about the situation in El Salvador, tell me something. What would you like to contribute to your country now? And in the future? Well, you know, one of the things I have seen and I have analyzed for a, long, for a lot of years is that in El Salvador there is a lack in investment of education. Uh, young people, uh, children don't have the, the proper, you know, the proper areas for studying, for developing uh, common sense saying in that way. I think there needs to be more investment in education because a lot of this violence that we have nowadays it is because the lack of education these kids, these young people have. Uh, there's a lack in prevention programs to, to, to avoid violence, to avoid future violence. I think uh, one of the main issues is that we're just thinking in this, in the present, not in the future. And I think that actually right now, yes, we are fighting against violence, but we need to, f to see in the future we can't be always fighting and fighting and fighting. We need to, to look for ways to avoid this, to go over this. And prevention programs, I think it's really important. Uh, that's why I think we should look for international cooperation or help of NGOs that can help uh, financially or uh, with another ideas that can help us uh, overcome this situation. Finally, would you like to become the president of El Salvador? What do you think that a president from El Salvador needs to have to, I don't know, to convert the country in a better country? Well, uh, being the president means a lot of things, uh, you know. Uh, it's a lot of responsibility and I think it's more responsibility in a developing country because I think one of the the challenges a president in a developing country has is not to keep the country as a developing country you need to make it a better place, a safer place for everyone and actually with these all these situations I think becoming the president is a really, really, really high responsibility that uh, actually I would like to, to, to take. 
but I think we have a lot of time yet for thinking about that and preparing because it's not a thing that I would like it's I think uh, I need to prepare myself for doing it uh, I think uh, the future president of El Salvador has to have a lot of uh, uh, need to have a lot of conviction of what it, what is he going to do how is he going to to face the problems and not to hide I think uh, uh, honesty is another important thing to let the population know what are the main problems what are the main issues and how the population can uh, help because population a government by themselves cannot overcome the, 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 the issues we need the support of the population and I think uh, the future president of El Salvador has to need needs to have all of those characteristics. My guest has been Oscar Sanchez from El Salvador, a sociology student from Missouri Valley College. I'm Jesus Ziri reporting for KNBC.